hello all i hope everyone doing good so in this video we are going to see how to create a schedule path flow uh, so uh, the use case i am going to take is like send an email to a record owner a day before the due date so whatever the object you have and whatever the date you are using you can use the date to trigger the flow before one date or before 30 days so, so whatever your requirement is and so here we are going to see how to create it and how to trigger the email notification and how to monitor it uh, and how to validate so in monitor we are going to see after your flow got scheduled where to go and check whether your flow uh, is scheduled to trigger on the particular date like if if you're saying whether it is two date or two days or 30 days so how can we see whether the flow is scheduled those things so the validation is nothing but uh, to get the confirmation like whether your flow triggered the email to whoever the person like the owner or someone whether it triggered successfully or not so that's that's the validation part that we are going to see it's, it's not a straightforward one but uh, let's see how can we do that all right i have logged into my salesforce org i'm on my flow screen let's create a new flow so here we have to select record triggered flow create and here you, know, you have to select whatever the object that you wanted to trigger the flow so for now i'm choosing one of my object it's called issue and yeah you can select the condition whatever you want now i'm using created or updated and even the condition requirements you can add so i'm going to add this flow has to trigger only when the status equals assigned or in progress or completed or not completed sorry pending so yeah only um, when this record is on any of these status then it has to trigger okay and if you see here uh, it have this option add schedule parts so let's select that so for our use case it has to trigger two days before the due date so let's say something like two days before due date and the time source would be the field you wanted to validate here like i have this due date field select the due date and offset number is nothing but the uh, days how many how many days that you want or how many hours you wanted to enter so you see here we we do have different options days hours and minutes so you can select whatever the thing you want and you can give the number over here so for now uh, I wanted to have this option days before and the number will be two days so it will trigger this notification two days before the due date of the particular record so then so see um, we have two paths now so one is to run immediately and one is to uh, run before two days before the due date so I'm going to add uh, some notes some actions on this path so I'm going to choose the action so basically we wanted to trigger a notification so I have selected an action and I'm using the send email action let's say send email so here in so this is the email template that they are going to receive so you can give anything whatever you wanted to have in the body but for now i'm going to create a text template 
to use in this body column so let's create a new resource uh, new text template so let's call he call it a email body So let's see I am going to trigger the notification to owner so let's get owner name so it will yeah it will dynamically fetch the users the owner's name here uh, let's say something like this this, this issue record this view or something whatever it is let's see issue name and I think what we can add and add the status new date and uh shoe you are okay so these are the things that we are going to add on this template so issue name yeah to add this go to insert a resource select record and the name so you will get uh, yeah will get the name dynamically and the status same here go to record status. And the due date same so here this URL will be a bit tricky so uh, I, I see most of the people use uh, the URL directly from like they will copy this URL and just uh, uh, add the id dynamically but you know the downside is when you are moving this um, flow into different tiers like you create this in dev and moving to staging or even to production so this url will not change it it will have the dev link to uh, when you are moving to production or something right so i i don't want uh, to uh, hard code anything like having this uh, url carrying to different tiers i don't want to do that so for that what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to create a new formula here uh, where it is can we not create a formula mm, okay seems not let's do this okay what was that okay just uh, I, i'll come back to that okay uh, yeah I'll, I'll come back to that later so for now let's give the subject uh, email notification something do anything okay and so use rich text formatted body is true since i'm using the rich text text template here on this email body and to recipient email address would be record owner So one thing pending here is to add the URL. Okay, now I'm getting the new resource. What I'm going to do is create a resource as a formula. It's called, call this as URL. It type is text. So here I'm going to use a formula something like this what this formula will do is it's it will dynamically fetch 
the server URL. So whatever the ser server, it, this flow is running, right? So whether it is dev or any of your sandbox or even a production uh, server. So it will just fetch the production URL and it will append the services and again it will append the part uh, the record id so this is what we are going to do on this formula i'll copy this formula and paste it in the description so that you guys can use so okay done so it's not mm, yeah it, it, this job is not completed for this url just copy it and here you have this hyperlink thing right so just if it over here and it will become a url as you see here so yep that's that let's give let's say thanks close this so uh remember in my use case i was talking about doing the validation right so validation is nothing but like um we cannot um uh, do a validation like whether the email is triggered or not or for that matter we cannot go into that email box inbox of the recipient to check whether they get it or not so uh, what i'm I, I used to do was like i'll ha always have uh, a task here i'll add a task action uh, so that Whenever this flow uh, completes um, the email notification part, it will go to the next node to trigger this task. So in that way, I'll, I'll get the confirmation like, okay, the flow passed the first uh, node and then it went to the second node. So the email was sent and it created a task. So that's how I do the validation. So that's what I'm trying to do here. So assign to ID is we can use the owner ID here and no due date or we can give today's date. Flow date. Okay and need notification not needed priorities not. and the related record id is the record id the record id is nothing but the record that we are going to create okay and the status is no oh, they don't have the status okay then let's leave it or we can say And the computer's email is triggered. You take email. Something like that. Okay. So this flow is ready now. Let's save it. Let's call. and let's do the activate let's check so i am going to open the service app i need to open a case here so yeah i do have a case so in here i'm going to create a new issue so let's see test 7 p add date whatever i think yeah so let's say assigned and the due date i'm going to give so remember we set the flow to trigger two days before the due date so Today is 7.3. I'm going to give Monday, like 7.4. I'm going to save it. 
okay let's check the validation part uh, so uh, as soon as you uh, created a record or if any of the records matching this the condition you can come over here to the time-based workflow and yeah when you search for it you will be seeing those records or taste in the queue to trigger the notification so you see the the newly record create got created record is here and the flow that we have created is here and yeah the created date time so whenever you are created and what is the automation type flow scheduled path uh, so this one is waiting for the resource to get allocated to trigger this notification okay i don't see this record in the queue anymore i think it got processed let's go check the email first okay all right we do have one notification here let's open this okay so it it is as per the template that we have created so it shows my name and the record is due the issue name is the name of the record that we have created status is assigned the due date is july 4th and you see this one here right so it automatically added the server url so wherever the flow runs it will automatically fetch the server url and it will append the record id so that when you click this it will uh, automatically redirect to the new record that you have created so that is this let's check the um, validation part so here yeah this is the record that we have created so if you see here um, the new task got created here as well so let's open the task so the status got completed and the subject says due date email sent and yeah so pretty much everything is like whatever we have added on the template so why i am saying this as a validation is let's go back to the flow so uh, when the record like when the record is eligible for this flow uh, it will start from here and it will come to this path and it will go to this action first the send email action which triggers the email notification to the owner so uh, as soon as it is completed it will go to the next action so if for any reason this one fails it will not at all go to the next action so uh, so if some user complains that they are not getting the email uh, for any of the record which is eligible to get the email we can go to the email and uh, sorry we can go to the record and see whether the task is created or not so if the task was not there then we can confirm the user haven't got the email notification but it was there then we can go to the email logs to just check for the particular date and yeah we can do the uh, further troubleshooting from there so yeah for me i just use this task to um, validate whether it, it passed the first action and it went to the next action or not so in that way i can confirm whether the email was triggered or not so that's that's why i'm using this as a validation so that's how pretty much i have covered i think so all you need to do is just create a flow and add a scheduled path and add whatever the action or whatever the things that you wanted to perform on on that path and yep they can go from there let me know if you have any questions on this one i'll happy to help you all right thanks thanks for listening to this video thank you bye